Alright guys, just come back to the river <laughs> where I lost my rod. It was like a month since I lost it. Uh, where I fell in the river. I'll show that clip now. And uh, yeah, I've just come down to see if you can see it. And look what's sticking out of the water. Hopefully you guys can see. But that is the tip of my rod. So I should be able to get it. But it looks like it's buried in loads of crap. So yeah, might be difficult. I've not got my waders or anything with me. Um, so yeah, we'll have to try to snag it first. Try to snag it. Uh, and yeah, see if we can get it. And then hopefully I can get it and then we'll try to catch some fish. But yeah, should be fun. Right, I'm gonna try snag it with this first, but I've only got six pound test. So I can't see that being possible to be fair. Looks like it's absolutely it's like under sh shed loads of muck as well. And then snagging on a crayfish trap. I find a lot of these crayfish traps on this particular river. I've never seen them anywhere else. I've never actually seen a crayfish in here. Oh God. Bit of a tricky one. I'm going to say if I do go in for it, I'm going to be like up to my waist in mud. There's literally just the tip sticking out of it. Let's see if I can free it a bit. Oh, just broke my jerk bait off as well. Damn, might go in barefoot and just see how soft that mud is and try to grab it. <laughs> okay, jeans are off. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get in, hopefully, there's no smack needles or anything. Just see how soft the mud is for a start. Take this stick, do some poking. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> Doesn't seem too bad at the minute. I just need to be able to reach the tip of that rod. Okay, yeah. Toilet seat in front of me. Okay, this isn't that bad actually at all. Hopefully when I grab the tip it's not just gonna come out in half. It's well buried. The bottom section. Oh, nah, God, I'm touching the rod anyway. Yes, <laughs> I've got it. I've dropped my jerk bait now. Well, okay, I've got my jerk. I've got my rod. Look at that. A month after that's been in the river. <laughs> Let's see if it still works. Yes, I'm so happy with that. It's like the real BNC is what I'm a bit worried about, but. Yeah, I've got it back. <laughs> Rod rescue mission accomplished. Got wet feet now. At least I'm not stood in the glass yet. Just got to get back safely now and then try and see if it still works. Snap that stick off. No bait on it still, obviously. Let's try and untangle this line a bit. Pretty crusty. There's a lot of muck in there, that. But it still works. Just needs a good clean out. So I managed to rescue the rod. That was actually well easier than I expected. So we had, it's about a month later, we had two weeks of solid rain and the tip was sticking out of the water. So yeah, well lucky to get that. So rig it up now, see if we can catch a fish on it. The reel's super stiff, but I think once I've cleaned it out a bit, it'll be fine. So yeah, well happy. Didn't even have to like swim for it or anything. So yeah, happy days. Right, just get it rigged up. Super stiff, but yeah, hopefully we can catch a fish on it now. 
just tied this dirt bait on that I used to rescue it with. So, let's see. Oh man, it's so stiff this reel. It still casts all right, but the bail arm and everything winding is just mega stiff. Definitely needs a good clean out. But I think once it has been cleaned and everything, it should be like pretty much good as new. It's not like it's been in salt water or anything like that, so it shouldn't have corroded. I think it's literally just stuffed with sand and silt and everything. Like you can feel where like a bit of a grain of sand catches. I've only got about 45 minutes left on the GoPro because I've just been and filmed a different video. But hopefully we can get a try in that time. Even if not, we'll take it home, we'll clean it up, show you guys what it's like once it's been cleaned up and everything. Alright guys, so I'm back home now, as you can probably tell. It's about a week later after filming that video to be fair. But I've cleaned up the rod and reel. I've got a different reel on it because I've done a session with it already. I want to use mono, same reel, it's just a, a different version of the same reel. But yeah, clean them up and uh, yeah, it's pretty much, it's going to be kind of hard to do with one hand. But it's very smooth now. As you can see, <laughs> it's like I say, it's very difficult to do with one hand. But yeah, good as new. Been in the river for a month, no problems. Drags all working nice and that. Bail arm works. That's a bit crusty still, but it works nice. And yeah, so yeah, leave it in a month for it. Leave it in the river for a month and it's fine. The rod's perfect as well. Like I said, I've already done a session with this. And it's fine. It's got, I don't know if this will focus on, but you can see where some flies have like laid their eggs on the rod. I've, I've left like the, um, I don't even know what you call them, like where they've come out, the like little larvas and that have been spawned on my rod, so that's kind of cool. So yeah, I'll clean all them off. I just want, I kind of want to leave them on to show you guys that that's how long it had been in the river. You can see them there. Well yeah, apart from that, it's perfect. No damage to the rod. No damage to the reel, so. So yeah, a little bit of a random video this one, but yeah, I know some of you guys would have been interested to see if I got the rod back or not, and I did, so yeah. <laughs> Pretty surprised to be fair, I'm lucky that that rod tip was sticking out of the water. But yeah, like I said, I've caught a trout on this rod, I think I've caught seven trout on this rod actually now, so I'll put one of them in, so you guys can see that I've caught a fish in it. I've not used the reel since, but you know, it works, I know it works, I'll use it at some point. So yeah, that'll do it for this video. I'll put a try in the end, like I said. But yeah, just a random video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Look at these fish. They're so light for browns out of this river. Oh, get this guy back. I was two in two casts then. From the same spot, whilst it was over a tree. <laughs> so I'm barely even retrieving it. Let's see if we can get another one. Absolute stacked under there. There's another. Yes, that's better as well. That's a better one. Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This one's going wild. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The drag's messed up. That's three and three casts. We've got a big one hooked now. Easy, easy, easy. This is what I came for. A big trout. Do not go into a snag. For like last time. Oh, please be pinned. He's going right for that snag on the far bank. This is such a powerful fish compared to those others. This is definitely a bigger one. Come on, buddy. Try not to play it too hard so I don't want it to come off, but I don't want it to go into a snag. Oh, it's not even that much bigger. It's putting up such a good fight. Come on. Yes. Oh, it's a chunk. It's a bit wrapped. Oh, that's a nice brown, that. Oh, oh yes, that's what I came for. Three, three browns in three casts. You just got to find that honey hole.